holes that they used in Egypt were capable of drilling with each revolution 500 times more than modern diamond drills that were used by people who cut into granite. That penetration rate yeah. was 500 times greater. So it, it might have been operating a slower revolution, but when it's going through its full revolution, it's right. much more effective. That's what I that's what I concluded in, in Now, is this article. in... It was, sorry, but is this in multiple different drill holes, or is it one individual sample that they found that seems to operate at this depth per revolution? There have been uh, inspections on several different cores. And have they all yielded similar results? And they have all, they have all revealed that the... the uh, the groove is a spiral. In other words, it's a continuous spiral around the core. Uh, the more most recent examination of the those cores uh, was in 2018 by two aerospace engineers, Eric Wilson and uh, Josh Gear, and they. Uh, asked the Petrie Museum in London permission to examine the uh, the cores in their collection, the Petrie core number seven, which is the most famous core, and the one that has drawn <laughs> the most heated kind of debate about. Can we see what that looks like? Jamie, can you find that one? Petrie core, core number seven? It's on that, uh, yeah. Because this, to me, uh, the, and the vases, obviously, and of course the construction, of the pyramid itself, right? Um, they also the symmetry of the faces. Right. There's so many things that are so mind blowing about whatever they did and how they did it. It's it's I mean, right. Forget about all the mysteries. Right. Just what we know in terms of okay, so these are these are these two core samples. These right. are these two cores. They're not, they're, no, they're the same one. Uh, and they're from Lost Technologies of Ancient Egypt. And essentially, uh, what happened was the uh, there was a book written, I think it was in 1999, it was by uh, uh, Chris Ogilvy Herald and uh, Ian Larson, and they, it's called Geese of the Truth. And so what they did is they had contacted, or they had associates that went into the Petrie Museum and examined the core to see if it was actually a spiral. So they took photographs of it and they examined this and they examined those photographs and they said no, they're horizontal. Now there's a big difference when you talk about a horizontal groove right uh, and <clears throat> a spiral groove. And so I was like, okay, uh, I suspend all assertions as far as the, the methods that I proposed for how it may have been done. Uh, I need to go and examine that item myself and so i booked a flight to england and uh i um a, a friend of mine in, in cambridge uh picked me up at the airport nick annis and we uh went to the Petra museum and i examined the core the uh <clears throat> the method i used was to just wrap a simple cotton thread around it so you just followed the groove with the thread. With the thread. But I was wearing... Uh, uh, rubber was, gloves? <laughs> well, yes, I was wearing uh, rubber gloves, but I was also wearing a, a visor with uh, lenses in it that gave 10 times uh, power. Oh, okay, so you could power. really see where the grooves yeah, are? Yeah, you, you would, find, you would find, uh, find those items in any tool mix. Tool makers box, so right? if the lines were horizontal, you would go around in a circle, then you'd have to cross over the ridge to hit to the next circle. Yeah. But in it, this case, it was continuous. No, you know, I mean, it was continuous. Right. Okay. So it's so how did they miss that? That seems like this is such an important piece of history, such a fascinating thing to examine. Look at this mystery. You have this granite core. Right. How do they do it? There's lines on it. Right. Are they horizontal or are they a spiral? Right. And then they just go, oh, it's horizontal. With but, and then you come along with string, and right. you're like, no, it's a spiral. Right. Like, how did how does someone screw that up? Yes, I mean, they would say uh, that I screwed it up, obviously. But the thing is, Joe, is that, you know, when you're conducting research, anybody, whether you're a scientist or just a, you know, Joe yeah. Blow in the tool room, uh, 
and you are you say okay this is what i found and these are the methods i use mm -hmm. and these are the results okay right so you set you describe your experiment and you lay it out and you explain in detail how you did it wouldn't with today's technology wouldn't it be really easy to scan it well it is now yeah obviously. yeah and then they would so have they done that have they definitively proven one way or the other there, I don't think there is a really high quality scan that uh, uh, would be necessary. I mean, I've learned a little bit about scanning. Uh, it was just being introduced into manufacturing uh, when I retired, mm -hmm. just, just before I retired. We, uh, we started to uh, look into it and we bought this uh, white light scanning uh, system. And, but the, now, uh, the, the, the systems like, now are so advanced. The, the systems now and are, you feed are like it light AI, years ahead. Bro. And you, you would feed it through AI and it would tell you exactly. Well, you yeah. I mean, you basically, you would uh, you could you could slice it, dice it, examine it any way you wish. But mm -hmm. you need to have qualified people to do it. Not not right. anybody with, with that's not qualified could, uh, could examine right. that. Right. So either way. This these cores and those drill holes represent something sensational, something absolutely amazing. Some some four thousand five hundred year old drill that somehow or another was more effective than drills that are being used today. Yeah, but you know the you know the truth of the matter, though, Joe. What? It's probably. The <laughs> I wish you I wish you could just tell me, and then we know. There's so many it's mysteries. Probably, <laughs> it's, it's probably the most insignificant artifact I've looked at. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sure. I well, mean, you, you know, you've you looked at so much in Egypt. Yeah. I mean, but to me, it, it's it, but, it's like a corner piece. Oh, people are freaking out over it. Yeah. How, how could you? How dare you? Well, um, I'm sure because it throws everything into flux. Because how did they? The, the the assumption is they did this through intense labor over long periods of time. And it took forever to do. Right. And if they're operating at a pace that's 500 times more effective than a drill that's used by a modern... Have you talked to other people that go into granite? Are there more sophisticated drills that work better or more, more powerful drills that work better than his? You know, you know the, the thing is in, uh, in manufacturing, and, and this, is, this, is a, this is a fact, uh, you don't know the full scope of what engineers are capable of doing. Mm 